Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about performance anxiety and exam nerves and I'm going to discuss what performance anxiety actually is and give you some methods to deal with performance anxiety. So firstly what is performance anxiety? Well performance anxiety is the fear about your ability to complete a task and this is a massive part of music performance for any instrument in any situation. I myself have dealt with performance anxiety and I don't know anyone who hasn't. So I'm sure we can all relate to what performance anxiety is. The way that I have experienced performance anxiety when it comes to playing the piano is that I worry about the fact that there are thousands of notes in a piece and it's not going to be possible for me to get them all right. So therefore the performance isn't going to be good and people are going to be judging me for that. And I think although performance anxiety is slightly different for everyone, I think this is kind of the general theme. It's worrying about your ability to play something in front of people and worrying about what they think about what you're playing. Performance anxiety exists on some level because we want to project ourselves in a certain way and by performing in front of lots of people we're putting ourselves in a vulnerable situation where we aren't necessarily in control about how we do. And the irony is if you don't worry about your performing then you'll perform better anyway. When it comes to music exam nerves the fear tends to be in the fact that you've put a lot of hard work into something and you don't want all of your hard work to be wasted by playing badly in that one performance. Well firstly from my experience of playing bad performances and teaching lots of people at lots of different levels. This isn't really the case anyway. If you've got the courage to get up and perform in front of people, then 99% of the time the audience will support you anyway because they know that it takes a lot of courage and bravery to get up there and perform. In my own music school, we do concerts every summer and Christmas and anyone of any level can perform because it's about getting experience performing and knowing that it's going to be okay rather than having a standard built up in your head which will be detrimental to your performance. And the truth is, the same as actually learning the skill of the instrument learning to perform is a skill in its own right and the more you perform the more you start to trust your ability to be able to get up there and play well however if we take performance anxiety for what it actually is which is a fear there are several ways we can look at combating this. So in my experience, there are two general psychological methods that we can apply to this situation. And the first one is vivo exposure. This is also known as flooding. And what this means in simple terms is you combat the fear by putting yourself in a performance situation and it's very much a sink or swim. This can cause a high amount of stress on one occasion, but once you've done it once, then it's over and the fear is dealt with. You know that if you think you play badly, next time is not gonna be as bad as that, or at least you've learned something about yourself and if you play well then you know that next time it's reassurance that you can play okay as well. This isn't the route that I would recommend because it does cause a high level of stress and it does put you in danger of having a bad performance and then never wanting to perform again. If you have performance anxiety it's perhaps not a great idea to put yourself in a situation where you can risk making it worse and if you are watching this video and you are considering performing or have performance anxiety issues then you're obviously wanting to try and help that and not hinder that in the process. So the second the second method that I would recommend is a psychological method called graduated exposure or systematic desensitization. The way that this works is it is a plan of incremental steps to get you from not performing at all to performing very comfortably in front of a large audience. It requires a plan of several steps in order to reassure you that you do have the ability to perform. And this way, when it comes to performing, you can guarantee a positive outcome. So you are minimizing the risk of making your performance anxiety any worse. So the first step I would recommend in this method is to just record yourself. This recording doesn't need to go anywhere, no one needs to see it, but the idea is if you have something recording you and watching you perform, even if it is an inanimate object, this will put you in the situation where you're playing for something and you're trying to play whatever you're playing all the way through. And I would do this lots of times. In general practice, I would get used to doing this anyway, but if you just keep recording yourself and listening back and you get used to the sound of your own performance, then that is a good first step. The next step is to record yourself with the intention of showing someone. This can be someone who you know will support you anyway, it can be a family member or a close friend, but just the very fact that you are recording yourself with the intention of showing it to someone can just elevate that performance anxiety just a little bit more. And the good thing about this as a second step is that you can record yourself 500 times if you want to, whatever gets you the performance that you are comfortable with. Now step three removes the ability to re-record yourself and this is to play in front of a close family member or a close friend. Even if they happen to be at home and they see you practice passively, asking someone to sit down and actually listen to you adds a little bit more stress to the situation. And with each of these steps I would do this lots of times until you get 
really comfortable with playing in front of someone or recording yourself. The next step would be to show a more distant family member or some distant friends or put it on your closed network on social media. Because all of these people are on social media or your close family and friends already know you, nine times out of ten they will be very supportive to the fact that you have the nerve to put yourself out there. And if you get used to this regularly then this can also become normal for you and performing is going to start to become less of an issue. Step number five is performing to multiple people that are close to you in a closed environment. Similar to the difference between step two and three, this removes the ability to re-record yourself lots of times and it will start to emulate a real life performance situation where you are playing to several people and it will give you the opportunity to deal with the nerves in a controlled situation. When I was at music college, myself and a friend set up a performance group where a group of around 10 of us would perform to each other on a weekly basis. The pieces that we were playing didn't need to be ready but it was just to get used to the feeling of performing and obviously each time we did want to perform our best so it did increase that level of anxiety. We did this for a very long time, maybe a year or two and by the time the group finished we all really understood how we dealt with performance situations and this is what I'm suggesting. If you get used to playing maybe on a weekly basis in front of family or friends or on a monthly basis then this will really help you get used to the feeling of playing in front of people. And not only is it great for them because they get to see you in Improve, but you'll also learn a lot about how you deal with performance situations and each time internally you can try and approach the performance in a different way to see how you can deal with the anxiety. Step six is to perform in front of other learners. Now these are perhaps going to be the most supportive people because they completely understand what you're trying to do. There are lots of groups on Facebook and on other social media platforms where learners go in order to put their performances out there and from my experience of these groups they tend to be very very supportive supportive because there is a common goal and that is to try and improve and every time anyone puts something out there in those kind of groups knowing that they're a learner everyone else is there to support and give feedback and try and help you. Step seven is to perform in front of a small audience of unknown people. Throughout this process you performed in front of a lot of people that you know and you've recorded yourself and now you've played to learners that you don't know. Now the idea is to play to more passive people who aren't musicians who that you don't know particularly well. This can be friends of friends or you can put on an event for other learners in the area but once again I would do this lots and lots of times before moving on to the next step because playing in front of a small group of unknown people is something that you need to get really really comfortable with before going any further and the last step in this process is to perform in front of a large group of people performance anxiety never completely goes but it becomes controllable you'll always feel pre-performance nerves because you want to do your best but if you have played it enough times in front of people that you can become confident with it then the nerves will elevate you performance because it will give you that hyper concentration that you don't have when you're just practicing. This is why it's very good to perform because it puts you mentally in a different place to when you're practicing and it stretches your ability not only as a player and a performer but as a person as well. If you have any experience with performance anxiety then do let me know in the comments and if you found this video useful then hit me with a like and subscribe and I will see you next time.